Hello everyone and welcome. Before we begin, I would like to give some shout outs to the latest members of my channel. They are Boss Lady aka Jerry Slayers, Lone Wolf, Kyla Clemens and Desiree Peterson. Thank you for joining. It means a lot and I really appreciate all my members for supporting me. And I also appreciate everyone who has clicked on this video as well. So let's get into it. Today, I want to talk about when the covert narcissist has no one, meaning they are not in an exclusive relationship or they don't have any children or grandchildren around. So they may have friends or family around, but not someone that they can call their own. And from my observation, covert narcissists do not show their true nature to extended family members. Only their partners and children usually get the full dose of what they have to offer. Which is something I also explained in this video, where I talked about how covert narcissists are able to keep composure in public and it's basically because they know they have people at home they can reveal their evil nature to. They have people at home that they can go to and dump all their negative emotions onto. Narcissists are filled with negative energy that they need to let out ever so often to stop them from imploding. So they need someone to pour their negative energy onto. The extroverted narcissist has an unlimited source as they are toxic in public and private. But the covert narcissist is limited as to when and who they can unleash that negativity onto. This is why they work hard to trap people into exclusive relationships, especially marriage with them. They need to have people in their private lives or safe zone that they can be cold and harsh with without being exposed. So how do they cope not having someone on tap that they can abuse or show their true evil nature to? For outsiders, it is hard to know where you really stand with a covert narcissist as they prefer to pretend to get on with everyone. The covert narcissist wants only to be seen as the hero or the victim, never the villain or instigator as their image and reputation is everything to them. They smile through their pain to convince others that life is great and that they are happy. So a dilemma arises when the covert narcissist is alone and has no one. They do not have a committed relationship or anyone in their safe zone that they can abuse. Therefore, they create whatever drama they can, which is usually looking to slyly turn people against each other whether it's in the workplace, church, or any other organization or group that they are a part of, as that will be the only bit of excitement they can get. Because when a covert narcissist has no one, and they are in the presence of someone who makes them uncomfortable, or someone who has offended them, the narcissist is bound to be quieter and very serious. If anyone asks if they are okay, they usually reply and say that they are tired or they do not feel well. But it is because the narcissist is bursting with negative energy and a desire to cause pain that they end up being silent, even withdrawn. What also starts to happen is that the negative energy of that covert narcissist, who is not able to truly unleash the beast, begins to show. When they are around, there is a heavy darkness that can be seen and felt by those who are observant enough to realize it. 
the mask of the covert narcissist is beginning to crack. So they need to direct attention away from themselves. Someone else or something else has to be the problem. So they make it happen. And it's usually the person who was making the narcissist uncomfortable or offended them in some way. That is who becomes the target. So they begin to plot and scheme as to how they can get rid of this person or turn everyone against them. Their moments of silence when they are around this person is them loathing, detesting this person so much that they cannot operate like they usually do. If the narcissist cannot affect the person directly, they would get to their closest friend, their partner or a family member and love bomb them into trusting them. Even in these instances, the intentions of the narcissist will not be clear as they never made any show of disliking anyone. But every relationship that the narcissist has is strategic and they use other people to hurt you when they can't. This is what I was trying to show in this video where I talk about relationships narcissists try to destroy. When they are out to destroy someone, they want to see them isolated or abandoned by those closest and dearest to them. Narcissists will steal your friends, your partners and your family from right under your nose, all with the intent to hurt and isolate you. But what I'm trying to show with the covert narcissist is that they cause more drama outside of their safe zone when they have no one in their safe zone that they can abuse. When they do have someone in their private lives or their safe zone, it is easier for them to cope with the challenges that they face with other people. They can smile through the offenses, knowing they will come home and take it out on their family. Of course, these outside offenders will not get away unscathed because the narcissist will always remember how they offended them and will just be waiting for the right time to exact revenge without them realizing it was the narcissist who did it. The covert narcissist is very sneaky and sly. They are the ones who aim for a blameless reputation in hopes to be liked and adored. They are the ones who get their partners to live a lie, pretending everything is well in their relationship when it's not. They are the secret abusers who tend to be admired and loved by those who don't really know them as they are just in love with the fake image or persona that they, the narcissist, has created. But covert narcissists love bum like all narcissists to trap you. They may never raise their voice or lift a finger at you, but the manipulation, lies and devaluation still exist. Though out of sight of the public, it thrives heavily in private. And when there is no one in their private lives, it oozes out to affect those around them. So even though we cannot go no contact from every narcissist, we need to keep a safe distance away from any narcissist that we are aware of. As usual, I hope you found this helpful. Please click that like button. Apparently, it's the likes that help get this video to be seen by more people. Also, please share your thoughts below. Many thanks for watching.